imagine two neurons in the brain and one is a is a you know kind of a kind of a strict materialist and one's a little more mystical and the one neuron says look uh you know we're we're, we're just we just run on chemistry and the outside world is a cold mechanical universe and it doesn't care what we do there's no mind outside of us and the other one says can't prove it but i kind of feel like there's an order to things and i kind of feel like our environment is not stupid i kind of feel like our environment wants things from us and i kind of feel these waves of of you know these waves back propagating through us that are like almost rewards and punishments i feel like the the, the universe is is trying to tell us something and and the first one says yeah you're just seeing you know uh, faces and clouds it doesn't it doesn't exist and of course in, in, in my example, the second one is correct because they are, in fact, part of a larger system. They're part of a brain that is learning things. And it's very hard for any one node in that system to recognize that or even a sub, you know, sub network. But I wonder if we could, uh, having, having a, you know, a degree of intelligence ourselves, if we could gain evidence that we were part of a larger system that was actually processing information. And I, I don't, I don't know exactly what that would look like, but my hunch is that it would look like what we call synchronicity. 